Welcome back. We are on section 9, dividing decimals. Basically, you're just going to use long division to divide decimals. The first number is the dividend, which means the number on the inside of the division sign. The second number is the divisor, the number on the outside. The divisor has to be a whole number in order to use this long division. If it's not a whole number, you simply move the decimal point to the end of the number and move the, dis the dividends decimal the same number of places. That was a little tongue twister. In your final answer, just bring the decimal point straight up. So in our first problem, we have 45 and 1 tenth divided by 1 and 1 tenth. 45.1 is the dividend. That means it goes inside the division sign. 1.1, the divisor, goes on the outside. Now you'll notice this 1 and 1 tenth, it's not a whole number, we need it to be. So that means we would need to move this decimal point over one place in order to make it a whole number. If we move this decimal point over one place, it's kind of like an equation. Whatever you do on the outside, you need to do on the inside. So I would want to move that one over one place as well. So the real problem we're solving here is 451 divided by 11. All right, so 11 doesn't go into 4. 11 does go into 45. And let's see, it goes in there four times. 11 times 4 is 44. We subtract. 1 is left over. There's still a digit left. We drop it down. 11 goes into 11 once. 11 times 11 is 11. There is zero remainder. Lovely. So 45 and 1 tenth divided by 1 and 1 tenth is 41. Okay, next example, I have 4 and 26 hundredths divided by 42 and 6 tenths. So we're going to write this out the old-fashioned way. We have 4 and 26 hundredths being divided by 42 and 6 tenths. So again, when you look at the outside here, this needs to be a whole number. That means my decimal point needs to get moved one place to the right. So this decimal point needs to move one place to the right. So the problem that we're actually solving here is 42 and 6 tenths divided by 426. Okay, so 426 does not go into 4. It does not go into 42. It does go into 426. One time. So 426 times 1 is 426. We subtract and get a zero remainder. And if you notice, Inside here, the decimal point is in the, between the 2 and the 6. You need to just bring it up. So wherever it is inside, you bring it up to that same exact spot. So 4 and 26 hundredths divided by 42 and 6 tenths is 1 tenth. All right, last one for division of decimals. Again, 9 and 52 hundredths goes on the inside. It's being divided by 2 and 8 tenths. That goes on the outside. And it looks like, again, we need to move this decimal point one place to the right. So we'll move that decimal point one place to the right. So my problem is actually 95 and 2 tenths divided by 28. All right. So I know that 28 doesn't go into 9. It does go into 95. And this is where it's kind of tricky. You can use estimation to help you. 28 is pretty close to 30, and for me, it's really easy to count by 30. 30, 60, 90. And if you look here, we have 95. So I know 30 would go into 93 times. I'm guessing 28 would go into 95 about three times as well. So I'm going to put this 3 right above the 5 to represent that the 28 is going into the 95. All right. We need to take 28 times 3. So really, it's kind of like we're doing this problem right here. So 8 times 3 is 24. I'm going to carry my 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So 28 times 3 is 84. I'm going to subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. 9 minus 8 is 1. We're not done yet. We still have a 2 here. We're going to bring it down. And now again, I need to divide 28 into 112. So again, maybe counting by 30 can be helpful. 30, 60, 90, 120. Now, 4 times would give me 120. If I take 28 times 3, it gives me 84. 
I am guessing I could probably squeeze 4 28s into 112. I'm going to give it a shot. So now I need to take 28 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Ooh, I like when that happens. So, we have 28 times 4, which is 112. When we subtract, we get 0 remainder. The answer is not 34, though. I need to take this decimal point and bring it straight up. So, 9 and 52 hundredths divided by 2 and 8 tenths is 3 and 4 tenths. Enjoy your Section 9 problems.